Well, hello there, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Arc Survival Evolved. So in today's episode, we're going to be doing some more building, trying to finish at least the first part over here, and then maybe start uh, working on the second part here a little bit. This is going to be the main building, but it's going to be pretty big, so I'm not sure if we're going to do a whole lot to it today. Finally got my crop set up, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I might switch some around though, because I notice I kind of mix them, which, which does look good to be honest, but I'm, I think I want it to be a little bit more organized. We are already getting some produce, that is amazing. Of course we made a little poop collector. He's also collecting eggs for me, because I got uh, finally managed to tame up a couple more tech parasaurs. So here they are. And I'm still working out on, out on how to set up a little farm for it. But yeah, that's gonna be something I need to do some more research uh, on. I wanna try to do it without uh, having to look it up like a guide or something. You know, I know uh, a YouTuber named Evo. He taps a lot into this kind of stuff, so if anything, I can look up what he does and uh, see uh, see how to go from there. And also say hi to Calamity Jane. <laughs> Isn't she amazing? Very blue in the face, and uh, I like her other colors though. But uh, the blue thing isn't really—I'm not really a fan about. But maybe uh, it's, it's slowly starting to grow on me. <laughs> uh, don't mind the the dead kangaroo on my stairs here. So yeah, I'm, I finally managed to get a good breed going. So these are the basic stats, looking pretty good. I'm very happy with them. I got uh, a couple backups in case we do need them. Also, yeah, one thing, one weird thing I've noticed is uh, the canteens—they they drain eventually, which is kind of weird. I'm guessing it's a Scorch Earth thing, because I'm pretty sure they don't do that in regular maps. Which I can deal with though. It's just a little strange to me, because I'm so used to things not training, except for the the first water skins. So yeah, Calamity Jane here is a freaking beast. I'm very happy with her. She, uh, I mean for Terbert, uh, she does she does a decent amount of damage. Let's see if I can find a little victim here. Is that a raptor? Perfect. Yeah, close to 300 damage. It's not too bad, but she's super fast, so it's easy to get around the map. And of course, she can glide <laughs> with her tiny little wings. So yeah, already having a lot of fun with the terror birds. Yeah, and it's something different, you know. It's uh, not a, not something I really look into taming usually, because usually you go for like the more stronger animals. But yeah, I'm trying to. Trying to go for different creatures this time around because it's always a lot of fun to do uh, try something new. Of course, my go-to creature has always been the Tyla because Tylers are freaking amazing. Speaking of which, while I was out, uh, you know, leveling up Mister uh, No Miss Calamity Jane here, I managed to spot a 180 Tyla, so I cannot resist anymore. So I have to go get it. So I prepared some cooked lamb chops over here, and we're gonna bring Mister Red Velvet here. Let's see, what else do we need? We need some kind of trap, so let's see if we can figure that out. Uh, that's not where you do it. Let's see, okay, yeah, we still have a couple walls here. That should be doable. Uh, let's see, we can bring these foundations. Uh, these ramps, probably? Yeah, I think that's pretty much all that we need. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, and also I found this pretty good shotgun. Sadly, it's not a uh, fabricated shotgun, which I would prefer. Also got a blueprint for that. A couple other blueprints and I found... No, this is the blueprint. This one I found. So yeah, getting stocked up on shotguns, which is pretty good. We got this crossbow, which I don't really need anymore. Uh, we already had this one. Oh yeah, and uh, I sent a chainsaw after I made this one. <laughs> That's okay though. It's still, uh, I have a hard time getting cementing base on this map, so I have to figure that out. Uh, sorry if you hear the tippy tapping of uh, a dog in the background, because uh, I'm babysitting a dog. <laughs> oh, we do have a Tony Dragon saddle. I was looking for it. All right. Got a bunch of Morella top saddles and got tons of oil. Actually, I was looking earlier at uh, my little oil veins here. Head on over there and show you guys. It's kind of ridiculous how much oil we get out of these things. Head on over there real quick. 
Yeah, it's been super fun traveling around with uh, the Terror Bird. And of course being able to prevent fall damage is a huge bonus. Where's my evil thingy? That should be right in around this corner here. There it is. Let's see here. So yeah. <laughs> I think we have more than enough oil for pretty much the rest of this playthrough, so <laughs> that's good. Uh, I do have another one set up over here. Oh, hey, Mr. T-Rex. Level are you? 18? Oh, yeah, you're the one you just... Excuse you, Mr. Smelly Breath. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, is that another Tyler? Level 30. Uh, well, I don't need to show you the guys the second one. I keep losing it, even though it's... Kind of obvious. Oh, come on. Yeah, I need to write down the corners because it always takes me like five minutes to find it. <laughs> Let's just glide on down. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Uh, oh yeah, we, uh, we were going to go tame up the Tyla. So it should be right over there. Actually really close to our old base again, which is apparently where all the Tylers seem to spawn. Which kind of works out because then I can just uh, go around on a killing spree over there and hopefully get another 180. I mean there's a good chance I'm not going to use it this time around, but maybe play around with it a little bit. Because I still armor one of my favorite creatures. Maybe if I need to kill something big, like uh, soon I want to look into getting some death worms. So yeah, having a Tyler on my side will be super useful. Oh, excuse you. Let's see here. So the Tyler should be around uh, 53, 80 something. I kind of forgot. I know it's around the, the mountain, so should be relatively easy to find. I can get over there somehow. <laughs> I'm tempted to try to guide it back to base or at least closer to it. That probably won't work because there's so many stuff in the way. One thing that is super annoying about the terror birds is how much noise they make, like, go on, just be quiet. <laughs> right, we should be pretty close, uh, did I say it was around 80 something, right? Yeah, so it's up there, wait a minute, uh, is there a way to get up here somehow? Ah, here we go, perfect. It's slowly getting dark though, so we have to hurry up and find it, it's 36. Sahayanadon. No, it's around here somewhere. Come on. Where are you? Alright, so it should be right over here. Level 12. No, you're around here somewhere. Just jump down. Oh, is that you? Oh, it's a 108. Oh, is that it? No. Where the heck did it go? <laughs> there we go, I finally found it. <laughs> it's, it was hiding over there. Let's get rid of this thorny dragon. Could probably shoot it. There we go. Let's get it all weak. Ow. There we go. Get out of here. Super hyenas. Alright, let's go set up the trap right here. One, two, three, four. Couple walls. Boom. Uh, can I get out? There we go. Just bought some doorways, but that's okay. This will do just fine. Put the ramps down. I'm pretty sure they cannot climb on high walls, right? I guess we're about to find out. Hey, buddy. Uh, let's jump over the trap. Oh, oh, oh crap. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that uh, did not go according to plan. Oh, oh crap. Oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Ow. That is rude, sir. Are you stuck? Really? There we go. That uh, kind of worked out. <laughs> you okay, Calamity Jane? You good. All right, let's get some uh, headshots. So we are gonna lose a couple levels just because we have uh, lamb chops instead of kibble, but it should be all right. She's going to take about 28 minutes to stay, which is going to take forever. <laughs> but yeah, we can do other stuff in the meanwhile. And a couple more shots to do it. Oh, just the one actually. Maybe. Yes, no. 
Hey, there we go. <laughs> Amazing. Let's take a good look at you. Uh, let's camera up here. So you got like dark reds and black color. Very pretty. Uh, like you already. So adorable. <laughs> Gonna be a great addition to the team. Actually, you guys look very much alike, don't you? Yeah. yeah you both got the same color scheme, actually. That is really cool. I like that. So you guys gonna be best buddies. <laughs> Alright, shall we pick all the stuff up? Probably, yeah. Could probably use it. Uh, actually, let's get you locked up for now. Just in case. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's nothing that will attack you, but gotta make sure. So let's put you on the taming tracker and I'll see you in uh, about 30 minutes here. According to Dodotex, I don't need any, uh, what do you call it, thingamabobs, narcotics. So I'm gonna trust on it and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> Can heal up on food here. I should probably give you your food as well. <laughs> there we go. Eat up, buddy. Alright, and now we'll uh, bring you guys back once he's uh, tamed up and ready to go. Are you kidding me? There's a freaking phoenix up there. <laughs> ah. Gorgeous. I don't think I ever tamed the phoenix actually, now that I think about it. At least maybe like once. I remember it being a pain in the ass though, because you had to like chase it with like a flamethrower. It was horrible. So I decided I'm not gonna trust the uh, Dodo Dex here and uh, give Tyler here a couple pieces of narcotics. There we go, just for peace of mind. Phoenix are beautiful. I did actually find a flamethrower in uh, one of the drops here, while I was uh, looking around. Yeah, taming it will be impossible without a flyer though, so probably not gonna bother with it, to be honest. That will really would be good to have, less like, uh, well not really a mount since I'm not gonna use it, but just something to have around the base, you know? Something that looks pretty. I think it's about to vanish as well, actually. Yep. There he goes. Bye bye. <laughs> Very cool to see though. Actually now we can take a good look at you. Definitely some really cool colors. And I do already have a name for you. I'm probably gonna call you John Wayne. Trying to keep uh, the names like Western themed. Which I don't know if I already talked about but pretty soon here we're gonna start working on like a little Western town as well. Which I'm super excited about. Never really tried to build one in Ark but I think it should be doable. I've seen it done before. Uh, Unlike the Neebs gaming channel. And they did actually a pretty decent job at it while they are, because they are pretty bad at building to be honest, but <laughs> they actually uh, did something nice with it, so I'm pretty confident I should be able to as well. Got a Tim Forger at some point as well, just to have one. They're really cool shoulder pads, I might uh, take some into the caves as well. Bring up a little army of uh, maybe like five or six. I don't want to go too crazy because I hate having things around. They will block my view and stuff and just be annoying in general to carry around. <laughs> ah, so many st stuff to do. Yeah, today I just uh, want to have a, like a chill day. So yeah, I'm mainly going to be doing some building. It should be pretty fun. And we're back. As we're flying over here. Let's go take a look at this beauty. Hi there. Yeah, you are definitely a John. It's here, uh, John Wayne. I think that's how you spell it. There you go. Amazing. Spoke about you for right now. Take the rest of these lamb chops. Uh, oh yeah, we were gonna bring this trap in case we uh, need to use it for something else or another trap. Here we go. Right, let's head on back to base and then... Uh, we're gonna prepare for doing another building montage, so I'll meet you guys over there. Alright, we're back. We got John Wayne chilling over here. Actually, we should make a saddle for you. Let's go do that real quick. Uh, let's see, Tyler. There we go. There you go, buddy. Hopefully soon we can find a girlfriend for you, because that would be awesome. I would love to see what else we can do with these colors, because it's just so pretty. They're very nice. Also, yeah, if you guys didn't notice already, there's a certain Jaboa missing from our little group here. Sadly, uh, Mr. Fossball, uh got caught in a battle between the raptor and 
the rest of my animals. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention and then all of a sudden I heard battle music and somehow Mr. Fosbo got on the front line of it, even though all these animals are kind of in the way over here. So yeah, not sure how that happened, but oh. Speak it up. So yeah, that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> so yeah, rest in peace, Mr. Fosbo. It was a great, uh, he of course was our first Jaboa, so I'm kind of sad about it, but I wasn't too attached just yet to him, so at least we still got two other Jaboas and they're very happy. And uh, Red Velvet here has been keeping Mrs. Fosbo busy, you know, just uh, keeping her company and just making sure she's happy. So they're doing pretty good, and if they are good, I am pretty good as well. So <laughs> there's that. All right, I've been doing a little bit of brainstorming and I think I finally figured out what I want to do with the roof. So I think it's time to uh, jump in another uh, building time, shall we? All right, uh, here we go. Alright, here we are again. So this is the final result. Uh, let me zoom out here for you guys. So yeah, the front looks amazing. I'm really happy with it. Uh, from the sides though, I'm not really quite sure yet. In my opinion, it kind of looks a little flat, so might have to see if I can do something about that. Might build a little bit of extra here, maybe like a little awning or something. I think that could look pretty good. Uh, over here, I built a little semi-circle thingy, uh, and I'm thinking over here I'll, I'll make like a little nursery, you know, just to uh, make breeding a little bit easier. And I also finished this part all the way, same thing on the other side. So yeah, the base is definitely really coming along nicely. And I decided not to, not to tackle this part just yet, because I do want to plan it out a little bit better. So yeah, for now this will do. Of course, I'm gonna have to add more decorations and stuff, just uh, make things uh, make things look a little bit nicer. So yeah, other than that, uh, we finally got a roof, so this I would say this building is pretty much completely done. So we finally got ourselves a nice workshop. Uh, definitely need to make sure I got enough space for stuff and things though, but we'll figure that out later. Alright, so there's one more thing I would like to do, and that's, that is breed these guys up. That way uh, we have some more in case uh, in case another raptor shows up and uh, these guys decide, decide to be brave. <laughs> so yeah, while they're bringing up, I got some... Uh, just sitting one minute, alright. I can wait a minute. We can do a shimmy and a dance and a boogie. Uh, let's make sure we grab some berries. There we go. Just need a few. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, let's see what we got. Any second now. Oh, that's right, uh, stupid 
thingy is still on. <laughs> there we go. Gotta turn that off. Let's see here. Options. Auto trap. Enable. Disable. There we go. I right, got another female. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. You are adorable. <laughs> Look at the tiny little ears. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> there you go. Have some food. You shouldn't have to worry about it. Oh, it's just the cutest thing. <laughs> Good job, Mrs. Fossball. Oh yeah, we should probably uh, take you guys off taming. Disable. Oh, we got another one coming in. Oops. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. Yep. Hey, that's the second one. What are you? Are you male or female? Why can't I see that? You're male. Cool. Oh, little squeakies. <laughs> it's so great. Oh, I love your boas. It's so great. Oh, <laughs> look at you hopping mine. <laughs> I love it. There's actually a mod that allows me to, uh, to let babies stay uh, small. I might end up grabbing that for a little bit. And there's also one that lets me uh, put them to sleep, which I'm also considering taking. I'm not sure yet though, because uh, loading times for getting into the server are really ridiculous. I mean, I don't even have that many mods, but it just takes a while. So yeah, today's episode is going to be uh, quite a short one. I'm actually not feeling uh, all too well, so I don't really have a lot of energy to record. But uh, hopefully pretty soon we can get into a regular schedule again and uh, pump out many great videos again. I'm gonna call this video here today guys, so if you end up enjoying the video, please leave a like and comment if you want. And also if you're new here and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!